Let's go through nine procurement engineer interview questions related to the concrete and the steel and also two questions are related to contracts starting right now. So the first question when we say ready mix concrete C4020, what is the 40 and what is the 20? And the answer is 40 is the compressive strength and this is the concrete ability to bear loads and it is measured in Newton per millimeter square. And this unit of measurement is also known as megapascal. And the 20 is the maximum aggregate size, which is the size of the smallest sieve that can pass all of the aggregate. So all of the aggregate in the mix will be 20 mm dia or less. So this is what we mean by the 40 and the 20. The second question is how many blocks are there in one square meter of block walls? Similar question can be repeated for the tiles, for example. And the answer that will depend on the dimensions of the block or the tile. And it can be calculated through dividing one square meter by the area of one block or one tile. And if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, the subscribe button is not far from the video, you can subscribe. The third question is, what is the difference between steel theoretical weight and bar count basis? And the answer is, this is related to how the steel is purchased. So theoretically, how many bars of steel are supposed to be in one ton based on the bar weight? This is the theoretical basis. However, the bar count basis is when you agree the number of steel bars per ton with the supplier. Question number four is, what is microsilica and why it is added to the concrete? So the answer is microsilica, also known as silica fume, is an admixture that enhances the engineering properties of the concrete. So this is the microsilica. And why it is added? It is added to increase the concrete strength, reduce the thermal cracking, and improve the durability. Question number five is, what is durable concrete? So durable concrete is the concrete that can withstand extreme weathering and erosion factors. And it has to be designed to achieve very high durability to resist moisture, salt, and sulfate. Question number six, what is GGBS and why it is used? GGBS stands for Ground Granulated Blast Furnace Slag and it's a product of iron and it is used to increase the concrete durability as it improves concrete resistance to sulfates and chlorides. Question number seven, what is retention? So the retention is a percentage deducted from the monthly payments to guarantee the executed works and it is released after completion as per the contract. Question number eight, what is DLP? DLP stands for Defects Liability Period, and it's a period of time where the contractor is responsible to rectify any defects that appear in the works that he has executed, and it is usually 12 months. Question number nine, how many linear meter of white wood is there in one cubic meter? If the white wood dimensions are 100 by 100 by 4,000 millimeter, and also how many numbers will be there in one cubic meter? And the answer will be 100 linear meters. And where is this coming from? So first of all, you need to calculate the volume of one piece, which will be 0.1 into 0.1 into 4 meters. This is equal to 0.04 cubic meter. So the number of pieces will be equal to one cubic meter divided by the volume of one piece. So that's equal to 25 pieces. So we have 25 pieces in one cubic meter. So when each piece is four meters long, so if I multiply 25 by four, that that's 100 linear meters. And this video here is where I explain the most important commercial terms related to contracts. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.